Game of the Week presented by Coca-Cola. Tonight, live from Navy Marine Corps St Memorial Stadium in Annapolis, Maryland, the Chesapeake Bayhawks host the Denver Outlaws. Winston transferred over to Villanova. Did a great job for head coach Mike Corrado. And now, off to here for the Chesapeake Bayhawks. As you mentioned, an opportunity here to, to play the most prolific scorer as a rookie in the league's history. And for the Bayhawks, their, their problem all season has been playing from behind in the first quarter. And here they've solved that. They're winning 5-2. to two. They've come out fired up and they've finished their opportunity. The brothers Bocklet, both all-stars. Mike Bocklet, the attackman out of Virginia. Matt Bocklet, the long stick midfielder, 74%. So he, so he was going to play tonight. Yep. I got to know where Coach Seaman got that exact number from. <laughs> Those end of quarter goals too, man, they can be a killer as Ben Williams wins the ensuing faceoff. Major League Lacrosse playoff bracket as the number four seed. So a lot of top of him right now. These two teams did come out for about five minutes of warm up play this evening, but had some travel issues due to some commitments during the work week and, and he could not be here for this game. Suing face off by Adler at Hofstra after spending some time in the Judah College ranks. I mean, who could forget how he burst onto the scene 40? He'll whip it your way, and he does it just right there. And Josh Byrne able to capitalize. Adler wins a face off. Fast break opportunity. Denver shot. Amato got a piece of it, but it's got enough juice to trickle over the goal. Violation against Chesapeake. Coming up on the two minute mark here of the first half. Go here in the first half. Adler's gonna win the face off. He hurls it goalward. And there's the horn to Outlaws who are playing for the number one seed in next weekend's playoffs as they begin in Denver. And man, he has had some career. I had the pleasure of playing with Junior up in Rochester and it was one of the best experiences of my life. I played on Denver in this game. They're not beating you with one-on-one. -on -one. They're beating you with quick ball movement, great cuts, and good feeds. And that's something we've seen that Chesapeake's defense has had trouble with all season is when teams move the ball well on them, they kind of get lost. And what's at stake here for Denver? A win, and they are the number one seed in the Major League Lacrosse playoffs that start next week. This was your final score in overtime, but it was it was decision as well. It looked like he was like, like late squaring up to the ball. Yeah, I don't think he was expecting it. I, like I said, I don't think he expected Koshansky to go for the ball, and I don't think he was ready for Snyder to shoot that. Every time the Bayhawks, first-year players playing some critical key roles. I'll tell you what, if I'm a GM across the league, I'm watching this game, and I'm going to write some notes down about these guys, and if for some reason Denver doesn't protect them, I'm going to go after them because they proved. Courier picks it up off the wing. Paul Thompson stick, and... If Lyle Thompson's anywhere two or three yards around the goal and he's got his hands free, that's, that's a pretty tough save for Nugent. Big goal for Chesapeake. We'll see if they can. He steps over him and then he steps in and shoots the ball before the double can get there. And I think, again, that's what people are expecting of Ryan Tucker. Two big goals by Chesapeake. Just enough. Just enough to get his hands free, right? And that's what those Beautiful. guys do, especially those indoor guys. They didn't coming back and having success against his old team. And Ocello now taking some face-offs against Ben Williams. You could see when he stuck that last one, he was chirping at his Syracuse counterpart. Great ground ball by Costa Beal. Season. So his goal totals could be even that much more impressive had he not missed a couple of games. Earl Hot, that's really going to help. Well, the one thing I've been impressed with Miles Jones is he hasn't forced anything. He's not trying to push things that aren't coming to him. He's just letting the offense play the right way. And if it comes to him, it comes. The old 70s mustache. He's got the long, feathered hair. I mean, he looked like he was ready to skidding on him, and he knew it. It's like he had eyes in the back of his head, and he got rid of that shot. Violation against this game has been a seesaw of momentum and emotion since the opening whistle. A two-hour weather delay, a 7.30. This league. It's crazy. So this, we might be seeing some history tonight. <laughs> we already saw one piece of history with Josh up in the tank to make a comeback of their own. Ben Williams wins the faceoff against Nick Ocello. Holy, because he's so accurate and he's so quick with his release. And you made a great point earlier. This Denver defense is gassed. They have been on their heels 
all the four 